This is Greg Troutwine with Marine Technology Reporter, and we're here at the Oceanology International 2024 in London. We're very pleased to be with Corentin Troussard of RTSIS, yes. and we're here today to discuss specifically the Ruby AI PAM buoy. Yeah. So, to start us off, can you discuss the PAM technology as specifically as it relates to offshore wind? Yes. Uh, well, during the, the past years, uh, it's been proven now that. Uh, the offshore industry makes a lot of noise on the water, uh, which can be very harmful for uh, marine life, especially mammals. Um, and so uh, a lot of, uh, of countries are setting regulations to um, respect a certain maximum level of noise uh, to be sure that we don't affect the mammals. Uh, and also different kind of uh, protective um, ways for, for, for all this industry. Uh, and so we are um, glad to, to participate in this effort. So then how does RTSIS specifically enhance the environmental impact uh, of offshore construction? So um, we've been in the um, palm industry since uh, 15 years now, and um, we have been used for, uh, for around 10 years to, to, to calculate in real time the produce noise underwater. Uh, so we offer systems that are able to uh, calculate the emitted noise by um, piling noise, uh, drilling, dredging, any kind of offshore and offshore noise. Uh, and with our uh, satellite communication, UHF, Wi-Fi, we're able to send the um, calculation results in live. Uh, so contractors receive it uh, either on board of the vessel or uh, even on shore. Uh, so they can monitor in real time uh, if they are complying or not with local re regulations uh, and obviously adapt uh, to, to make sure that they do not affect the marine fauna. So uh, our system helps them to, uh, to make sure they comply in local regulations. Uh, and more and more of these regulations are actually currently adding uh, new uh, criteria, uh, including the detection of marine mammals. So that's why we developed Ruby AI, uh, which is including uh, automatic detection of, uh, of these mammals. Okay, so specifically, I mean, we, we talk about artificial intelligence yeah. on, on everything that we do, but I always like to bring it back to, to the reality of how it's being used. So can you t uh, talk specifically about the AI that you incorporate yeah, and specifically what it does? So um, the algorithms we integrate in our systems are um, f uh, based on neural network. Um, so they have been trained on uh, years and years of, uh, of uh, existing data from uh, everywhere in the world. So we have, we have a huge database uh, that helps us to build these algorithms. Uh, and so how does it work? Basically, the boy will uh, transform the audio files in spectrograms. So in a few words, spectrograms are uh, uh, small images uh, representing the, the sound and the water. Uh, and so our algorithms are um, uh, looking at these images uh, and being able to uh, identify uh, some species. So um, as of today, we have um, a capability to detect uh, a few species of whales, dolphins, belugas. Uh, in the future, we are also considering integrating detection of boats, uh, so possibility to, to make classifications. Uh, so um, the boy will uh, react to this, uh, to this uh, spectrogram detection. Uh, store the data internally, obviously, but also send alerts by uh, wireless. Uh, so most of our users like to have a iridium link, uh, so they can receive the data on a web server that they can uh, check in from anywhere in the world. And they will receive basically the image, um, date and time of detection, and they are also able to download automatically generated reports um, that they can show to authorities and. Uh, Prove their compli compliance. Uh, so as of today, we are uh, proud to, uh, to claim 96% uh, of um, certainty for detections uh, and less than 1% of uh, false detection um, value. So I think it's pretty, pretty accurate and uh, we hope to have a, a lot of uh, success in the future with that. Can you discuss some of the hotspots for RTSIS and the Ruby yeah. AI? So obviously, as a, as a French company, we have a, a big market in Europe. Uh, but uh, during the past years, we've been um, very active in, uh, in the Asian market, uh, where offshore wind farm is, is really booming. Uh, and since a few months, we are more and more active also in the USA, uh, where the offshore wind farms are uh, really uh, expanding a lot, uh, mainly on the East Coast for now, but uh, also on the West Coast. So, uh, we, we really want to, to, to uh, set artists as a, as a world leader in, uh, in passive acoustics and uh, 
I'm sure this boy will uh, will have to do so.